Welcome back everybody to Forza Horizon 4 and uh, today we are doing another seasonal championship and uh, this time it's uh, Flying 50s where we're in cars from the 1950s that are in C class so it's going to be predominantly more race orientated vehicles I imagine because there's not very many uh, 50s cars that are in C class or higher I imagine so uh, yeah nonetheless let's see uh, what we're going to be uh, getting to choose from Of course, naturally. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of Ferraris to choose from, 250 Californian and 500 Mondial, the Hoonigan Chevrolet Bel Air, the Jaguar D-Type, the Lotus 11 and the Plymouth Fury. So yeah, uh, a few, few of them are race cars, obviously the Lotus, the Jaguar and the Mondial. California is a road car, obviously the Fury, Fury is and the Bel Air is a modded vehicle, so I don't think we'll go for that to be honest. Uh, let's just go for... Uh, Giggles, let's uh, go for the uh, Fury. It's got a fair decent amount of power, as you can see, which is, yeah, more than a lot of muscle cars from the 60s would have, and especially in terms of torque. But obviously, it does weigh a fair odd amount being a large 1950s American car. But yeah, it's still got plenty of acceleration and pretty decent handling on the go for a car from its period. But far worse handling muscle cars from the 60s and early 70s than this, despite obviously being from the late 50s and obviously quite heavy. Yeah, this is another one of my uh, favourite cars that have uh, recently come to the uh, Forza series. Not just because it was iconic as a film car, because obviously it was in the uh, 80s horror film Christine, but also because it's just a damn great looking vehicle and also really rather fun to drive. Let's see if it's got any racing potential here. Yeah. This has the most horsepower out of any of the uh, normal kind of cars. So it's all the heaviest. Assuming as we get some speed up, this car has really good legs. So. And being a street race is a little bit more difficult in these kind of cars. Avoiding the traffic as well as trying to keep up with the competition. Lotus 11s are microscopic in comparison to the size of this car. And the Jaguar D-Type looks small in comparison to this. Somehow managed to get up to third place in this Leviathan of a vehicle and I'm going to move to second now that I a Lotus that was has uh, collected a uh, traffic AI car. an upgraded MG up front. Certainly has a better handling than we do, but we have the power. So it's all about getting the opportunity to use it. Not much in the way of front end grip there. steal a win in the final couple of corners. Unfortunately not, it seems. We did not have the uh, 
handling to uh, get past the MG there, but we weren't all that far off, which is amusing really, considering the vast difference in kind of cars we uh, are between the, the Fury and the MG. Obviously that's a lightweight sports car, and we're a uh, really rather heavy, not even really a muscle car, more of a luxury coupe, so uh, yeah. Still, as you can see, very close in terms of uh, time there, and we get a, a nice 16 points to start off with. So yeah, let's uh, get to the uh, second race. So the Plymouth Fury there proving really rather reasonably good, uh, no doubt about that. They're getting second place in a car like that is no easy task, especially since that car is quite difficult to drive at speed. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to get in the Jaguar D-Type this time. As you can see, the handling is supposedly worse, 4.2 and 3.6 brake into the uh, Fury's 4.5 and 4.4 handling and braking, but this is lighter, and uh, yeah, it's gone down to the uh, going to be a quicker vehicle. Even though again the uh, acceleration seems to be uh, either as bad or as good as the uh, Fury, despite the weight difference. But then again, there is a power difference as well. But this has a higher top speed because it has more gears from a manual gearbox. So uh, yeah, let's see what the D-Tab can do. Yeah, it's either one of the better looking uh, racers from that period. But hopefully it's uh, even better at driving than it is in terms of looks. We're up against the Ford F100 so it's not going to be uh, the hardest of races. We're up against a massive pickup truck and the original Corvette is hardly a uh, all that great either, especially with its original two-speed automatic. Oh dear. Debris is obviously going to affect this car far more than the uh, Pic Fury because of how little it weighs in comparison to that car. Corvette going for a really rather uh, adventurous dive there. This car doesn't have the best in terms of gear ratios. It's pretty much made for top speed more than, you know, outright acceleration. And yeah, the brakes are pretty woeful. Oh dear. And it's quite slippery at the rear end as well. This is far worse than I remember it ever being in terms of handling. Maybe I should listen to the stats more often. I seem to suck at driving this car. This race is not going well at all. rewind that that was completely uh, a complete mess up of that corner there did it help that we got touched on the rear end by the uh, Austin Healy or oh, well, the MG there yeah this is a far livelier and more difficult car to handle than I ever remember it being 
Or maybe it's just been a hell of a long time since I've actually driven this car. Well, that's a disaster of showing there. Three times as worse in terms of places placing as we were in the uh, previous race. Yeah, massively uh, disappointed there in the uh, Jaguar. Maybe it's my fault more than anything, but yeah, that's a big disappointment. So, yeah, we've dropped down to third, but we are still within a modicum of a chance of winning there. So, uh, yeah, let's nonetheless move on to the third and final race. So, yeah, who would have guessed that the Plymouth Fury would be the car to beat in this uh, championship? Because, yeah, that was the far easier car to drive, despite this being... This Jaguar being lighter and uh, technically it should be the uh, faster vehicle. But yeah, for whatever reason, it's a uh, pretty much a uh, handful to uh, drive in a lot of ways. So yeah, let's see what else we can try out. I think the Mondial might be the one to go for. It's not particularly quick in terms of acceleration, but the handling is better than the Fury or the D-Type. But then the California is better in terms of acceleration and not much worse than the previous vehicles in terms of uh, handling. It's better than the Fury. Mm, I don't know. Handling or pure acceleration and some of that handling as well. Uh, we'll go for the Ferrari California. I know the Bondiale is better in terms of handling, but I think the uh, power of the California will offset whatever handling deficiencies, yeah, deficiencies it has over the Mondial because it's got that really rather large V12 in this and it's still reasonably lightweight as well California do not let me down I need the win can't settle for second or third in this well it sounds glorious so that is a plus point I guess Coming through. Well, we're definitely doing better than last time. I think we made the right choice. Ridiculous how quick this was for the 1950s. Tell what is up front to be honest. Ah, it's a jag. Is it? Is it the jag? I think it's the uh, XK one twenty E. have to upgrade that to get it into C class so uh, it's not a surprise that it's keeping up ahead of us. It was hardly a underpowered car in its stock form either. I have the edge on it. Yeah it's a Jaguar. Finally get the win and it's Ferrari that does it for us. 
Oh, that was close. So does that give us, yeah, it's the XK120 there, and then a Lotus 11 in third and fourth, and then a Chevy 150 in fifth. Does that give us a point somewhere that we need? Yes, it does, but only by four points. Very close, this championship. Uh, not more, all that many points for anybody, really, though. Uh, there's only two of us above 40 points, uh, 40 points or more, so, uh, yeah, that is a uh, really rather even uh, championship there. Obviously, the Jaguar really let us down, but then again, I'm not the best in terms of driving, so maybe in better hands it would be a far better car to drive, but yeah, it was all over the place. But the uh, Ferrari there, not perfect in terms of handling or braking by any means, but certainly far easier to drive than the Jaguar, and also really rather quick in terms of speed and acceleration as well. So uh, yeah, there we go. A uh, closely fought championship there, but a fun one nonetheless. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.